Oh, so in the in the gym, there's a you may have seen it at the mail, but there's like a piece of paper with Denise, Kathy Bailey, and Maurice Thomas mm-hmm. on one piece of paper, and then right next to it is Kazi's. Yes, okay. I've seen Kazi's. It's okay. just him by himself. Yeah. And he taped it to the top of the recycling bin yeah. next to the mailboxes. Yeah. And that oop. So, uh, we live in a condominium complex, Riva, in West Sacramento. HOA officers are being elected right now. They're they're in. It's it's the it's the October surprise we're all waiting for, or is it the November surprise? But there's three offices open. For, and there's four people running for those openings. Uh, and we've taken notice because there's uh, three of the four are like on a team. Yeah, they've they came together and they're like, hey, let's like do some public relation work together yeah. and let's promote ourselves. Let's secure these three seats. Yeah. And then screw the fourth person, an older gentleman. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it's been fascinating to watch the political process on a very, very, very small scale. Um, but uh, so the three people who were essentially boxing out the fourth are uh, first is Kathy Bailey, who we love. We stand Kathy Bailey. We we endorse her. She got our vote. <laughs> it's like when a celebrity comes out. As as when Scott Bale endorses Donald Trump. <laughs> well, you know, that makes me vote for the Donald. Um, Kathy Bailey. Uh, and then the second one is in the, the squad, as it were. This is like AOC versus uh, Nancy Pelosi. Hmm. I refer to them as the Godhead, if you will. Ah. Kathy Bailey is the father. Ah. And then there's the son and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> the other, so the, the there's Kathy Bailey, who's the head of the monster, the three-headed the three monster, headed, the three-headed just, beast. Just kidding, the three-headed <laughs> dragon. I just wrote a chapter in Game of Thrones, nonfiction versus fiction, honey. We discussed that earlier. Uh, Kathy Bailey, and there, the, there's a. Uh, Maurice Thomas, I like to call him Moto. Okay. MT. Yeah. And I saw him at the gym. Ooh. Yeah. He, he's a fit guy, but he's not good. He's not as good looking as me. <laughs> and that's what's wow. important. Uh, and then the third person, Denise Quinnell, who we, I, I don't, I've never seen. I've never interacted with. Yes. It appears that she's. Kathy Bailey's like right hand man, mm. right hand girl, mm. and yet I don't know her. I've never seen her. Yeah, she's she's not out here. She ain't out here in these streets. She's not hosing down the fires yeah. on the berm like Kathy Bailey is yeah. with the firefighters. Yeah, Kat- Kathy Bailey, you see like uh, out in the pavilion. Kathy and Bailey's out there. The pool and the gym, listening to people whine and complain, mm-hmm. like me, about the radio in the gym. You and I both have her cell phone number. Right. We can text her when we need anything yeah. or if we have questions. Yeah, when the fobs weren't working, she opened the gym for yes. me at like 5.30 in the morning. Hair still wet from her shower. Where was Denise? What's right. Denise doing for us? Nothing. Yeah, where were you, Denise Quinnell? DQ for short. Dairy Queen, honey. <laughs> Remember when we all went to Dairy Queen? I do. It was a good time. We all ordered like uh, we we went there right when they opened. It was Nine one. A. It was one person. <laughs> he was like, I don't know where the other guy is. He hasn't showed up. He's not here. But he, uh, that young gentleman made us four yeah. French fries and four blizzards. <laughs> we were like, okay, you're alone, but can we get four desserts and four sides right. at 10 a.m.? And he, and he, he manifested it, okay? Okay. It's like when you put up your vision board, <laughs> honey, do the uncommon things in everyday life in uncommon ways, okay? Why? I don't know. I saw that on the socials today. Okay. 
do the common things in uncommon ways, and the world will take notice. Uh, okay. Thou, Denise Quinnell, Kathy Bailey, Moto. Uh, but on the other hand, there's Kazis Shukis. Yes. And Kazis Shukis, we've kind of been familiar with. Yeah. His wife, Claudia Shukis? Yes. She's very active on our condominium Facebook page and mm-hmm. the Nextdoor mm-hmm. app condominium page that we have. So we're familiar with her. We had this barbecue a few weeks ago. Yeah. And she, Claudia, led it. Kazis was there. Barbecue. He was the head of the barbecue. And they yeah. were socializing. They were, this was like a clandestine uh, act because they were trying to like get votes for him, I think, in hindsight. But we didn't realize it at the time. <laughs> Right, right. So we we see there's a river BBQ, and we're like, oh, let's meet our neighbors. Okay, we met one guy who's selling his. We put very, we put no effort into meeting anybody. I'm yeah. gonna say okay, but we were there. We made a we made an appearance. We were like July four up with 1776. Uh, yay, patriotism! <laughs> uh, but we showed up. Um, but Kathy Bailey, Dairy Queen, and Moto. <laughs> We're not there. The big three running against Mr. Shukas yeah. were not there at so, this community barbecue 4th yeah. of July party. So we think, okay, well, we're going to meet some neighbors. We're going to frolic and have fun. But it turns out it's a Shukas event. Yeah. It's a Shukas campaign event. Uh, the the squad of DQ, KB, and Moto are absent. So unwittingly, we show up. At a Shukas rally. And we noticed that the ladies, the people who live directly around us, mm-hmm. none of them were at this event. Right. And we've seen them interacting with KB, K- Kathy Bailey. Yeah. So we think their alliances lie with her and the yeah. big three. Yeah. And we unwittingly have been yeah. drawn into this dramatic fight. Right. right. Where we, we didn't know we were choosing sides, but we have. Right. But on the other hand, see, Kathy Bailey uh, knocked on our door during the fire <laughs> and may have uh, startled you and <laughs> jumped to conclusions about our imminent, your imminent death and domain <laughs> some in thanked, Lennox and Luna. <laughs> some thanked her for knocking on the doors when the fire was here. Yeah. As for me and my home, it raised us into a fever pitch panic yeah. that we barely escaped from. Yeah. And so, I am I thankful? I'm not sure. <laughs> and on the other hand, Kazi's uh, gave me free barbecue uh, corn on the cob. Yeah, he didn't charge you. He barbecued you up some side dishes. Yeah. Free of charge. And he there, wants your vote. There were free uh, potato chips and Fritos. And uh, well, just barbecuing in general. There was a uh, raffle with yeah. tickets. We lost. That... Well, it wasn't very, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't well-minded. <laughs> uh, like, uh, Claudia just gave us extra tickets because we were like, hey, we want some extra tickets. She was just happy that people showed up. Right. She was like, take these raffle tickets. Right. Uh, okay. So. And uh, oop. I forgot yeah. what our purpose is with this discussion. There is no purpose. When are we going to find out the results? Do you know that? 28th. Of July? Yeah. Well, the the election ends the 26th, and then the results are on the 28th. Oh, my gosh. So we, I wonder if other people are like us. We're like, we divided our votes. It's a nail biter. We gave Mr. Shukas a vote, and then we gave two of the big three a vote. And that, oop. So I got this text from our neighbor, Debbie. Uh, and I spell neighbor with a U. I'm an Anglophile, honey. Uh, and we rarely text, but I basically say something like, hey, there's a been a package outside of your door for four weeks. <laughs> Do you want me to grab it? Are you in Reno? <laughs> What's the deal? Uh, but uh, so, well, it's late July, and the last time we texted was April, just to give you an insight into our relationship. Uh, but... She texted yesterday, hey there, okay, Debbie, my, our neighbor, hey, 
baby. Hey there. Wanted to see if you mailed in your ballot in for Riva. We are short votes. We. Okay. We are short votes. Riva or the <laughs> squad? The big three. Yeah. Or is she campaigning for Kazi's? <laughs> I think she's down with the big three. I think we so. are short votes and may not get a quorum. So important to vote. Okay. So important. I don't. I don't need your uh, lecture on this being a republic or is it a democracy, honey? So important to vote. Thanks. Smiley emoji. So, uh, and I, I replied, yep, we voted about a week ago. And she replied, great! <laughs> three exclamation points. Okay. Not one, not two, but three. You should respond, we gave all three votes to Kazis. Oh, shit. And, it's, and then, very unnecessary, she, after great with three exclamation, po- exclamation points, yay, with one <laughs> exclamation point. Okay. She's Debbie. happy. She's excited. Debbie, neighbor. She lives for the vote. Sure. Uh, but uh, initially, I was like, what, what, what are you doing? Like, leave me alone. Yeah, it's very, like, that crossed a boundary for me. Like, yeah. don't e- you're my neighbor. Yeah. Don't email me about voting. Yeah. We have each other's numbers to say, hey, there's a prowler. You left or, your hey, garage door open. You left your garage door open. There's a package that's been out there for six yeah. weeks. Why, why are you uh, slutting it up in Reno? Where, <laughs> where have you been for six weeks, Debbie? Uh, your, a- your AC has been running 24-7 for six weeks. And I don't want to uh, say how much our PG&E bill will be this month, honey, because my mom will fucking lose it. But, but uh, Debbie's uh, AC being on 24-7... Is going to be like a grand plus. The other thing we don't ever mention to Debbie is her 20 something, maybe 30 something year old daughter. Yeah. Is constantly out and about talking yeah. loud, having yeah. drama, yelling fights with people. Yeah. Right outside of our house. Yeah. This girl is a menace. Yeah. And yet Debbie has the audacity to make sure that we are voting. Yeah. Uh, I, I vote that you're. 30-something daughter doesn't come home from 1 a.m. Drunk from the club or bar. uh, Yapping with her uh, other loser friends. Waking up me and Frankie Blue and Luna Marie. I I vote for that. (laughs) Debbie. Neighbor. Okay. Uh, So... uh, Election closes in four days, and then they send the results off to the YOLO registrar of voters. Is that how it works, honey? You you vo- you worked at uh, the registrar. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Did you uh, you you uh, negated many signatures? Is that what you did? Uh, I don't recall. <laughs> but you would have to verify like votes, right? Yeah. I had so much power, you wouldn't even believe. As a temporary employee of four months. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I have no idea how the RIVA process is like a normal government election. I don't know. Yeah. But I cannot wait for the results. I'm so excited. Yeah. And what if Mr. Shukas is elected and only two of the big three are elected? Filling the three spots. Like, do you think there's going to be mayhem? There, yeah. Is there going to be rioting in the streets of our condominium yeah. complex? Yeah, there's going to be uh, vitriolic rhetoric. <laughs> and uh, Kazis is going to say, <laughs> Kathy Bailey is a threat to our democracy or something. Uh, well, that's what I'm hoping because <laughs> Kathy Bailey, we stand for. We we endorse her. We campaign for. Kazis gave me free he- corn on the cob. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally, that's all it took for your vote. Motel, I done seen in the gym. I lift, honey. I'm really strong. So he, he's got my vote. But DQ, Dairy Queen. By the way, Dairy Queen, the restaurant, has gravy. Okay? What? On, on tap. So if you get fries, if you get chicken strips, you say, I'll 
can I have some gravy with that? They'll give you that. I had no idea. You can dip your fries in the gravy, dip your chicken strips in the gravy. It's it's a huge bonus. It's a huge plus. Where's a Dairy Queen around here? Arden. Ugh. Yeah, it's kind of far. I love gravy. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You know, I've never had gravy on fries. Poutine or whatever it's called. (laughs) Poutine. Have you ever had that? No. The Canadian cuisine, apparently. I have not. Poutine and cheese is, uh, Mm. is, is, yeah, the Canadian thing. Um, But uh, we we had KFC last weekend. We got KFC. And we threw away the mashed potatoes because they forgot our gravy. So they were useless to me. Yeah. No gravy, no mash. Right. And then I thought... Well, we actually, we, Walmart has a jar of great value gravy for a buck or so. <laughs> and so I was like, well, we can go to Walmart, Walmart, and get a jar of gravy for about a buck. And I, and then that was Saturday and then Sunday came and I thought, I, I don't want to do that. I, don't. I didn't either. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to, but then I thought, eh, I'm not missing out much on life we moved on yeah we're okay yeah we threw away the gravy sorry grandma tian and we threw away four potatoes we threw away four bit right i'm sorry we threw away the mashed potatoes and uh we threw away four biscuits that i did regret because sunday morning i wanted those biscuits so badly yeah i almost went to the trash and dug them out (laughs) but that which, was a step which we've too all far. done before, let's be <laughs> sure. honest. Sure. Uh, but, uh, well, your, so your justification for KFC biscuits is that it's a good vehicle for KFC butter and KFC honey, which isn't really honey. Yeah. Or jam or gravy or whatever you want to put on them. They're good. They're not bad biscuits. They're not good. They are bad biscuits. No, they're not. <laughs> Although, like, my taste buds are very unrefined. Yeah. Like, I love hospital food. I love airplane food. Yeah. I love TV dinners. Mm. I'll eat just about anything that you serve me. TV so dinners. What I'm is... not defending my standards by any means. What is this? The 70s honeys with uh, <laughs> Stouffer's, but Lennox refused to eat KFC biscuits. You wore me down after... Pleading. I gave you half a biscuit and you caved. I took a bite. Terrible. Starchy, starchy, carby, undercooked yet overcooked. (laughs) Yeah, the outside is crisp. The inside is tender. Yeah, sure. Isn't that what you want in a biscuit? (laughs) No. (laughs) I don't know. Uh, So back to uh, our HOA, Riva. Um... We're getting the results in a few days. I want Moto to win. I want KB to win. And then I want Kazis to win. Just to throw some... Uh, I know. Just throw a little uh, pepper into that salt. Yeah. Like. Mix oh. it up a bit. But do you think that if the big three are broken up and Mr. Kazis Shukas yeah. comes into the mix? Yeah. Will it be like um, the current political state of America? Where yeah. nothing can be decided? Yeah. There's infighting? Yeah. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Because that that is the natural that that is what we do, America. We whine and we argue and we say the left says the right is the worst thing ever and the right says the left is the worst thing ever. That's just natural friction. That's how it goes. <clears throat> Not much gets done because life is pretty freaking good, let's be honest. Um so I, I it doesn't bother me that uh well, I, I, I look at Kazi's the outlier, as sort of a maverick. Different than uh, the three uh, yeah. establishment, if you will. He's not a career politician. Right. Although, I think he might be. He probably is. <laughs> but, you know, I have, I have another little bit of drama to drop into this mix. Yes, darling. So, his wife, Claudia Shukas, is very active on the Nextdoor app. Okay. Of which... I kind of casually look at here and yeah. there. I'm yeah. part of the Riva, our con- condominium complex community yeah. group. She always posts on this app a lot. She recently, 
a few days ago made a giant announcement about I'm leaving next door. I'm no longer posting. I'm uh, out. So then I was thinking, like, does this does this tie in with her husband's run for the HOA board? Mm. Is there something going on? What is the? I feel like there's so much drama that you and I are not aware of. It, there and, is. And yeah. I want how do we how do we penetrate the, like, the social order? How do we get into the inside knowledge? I don't know, but there there is a lot of. Uh, stakes happening uh but like i want to know what's going on but i don't want to know what i like <laughs> I, I need like the daily the daily mail version or the new york post version of a the the tabloid version of what's going on in in riva uh but something drove mrs shukas away from social media or is it performative as you <laughs> like to say honey like these people who are like I'm leaving Facebook. It's like, well, why didn't you just leave? And mm-hmm. why why did you have to make a whole? It's like when you block your ex boyfriend, yeah, and you call him to tell him, yeah, I blocked you, so don't call me anymore. I'm blocking you. I'm not going to answer anymore. You asshole. Yeah, and then the ex boyfriend's on the phone, like, not out loud, but in his head, like, yeah, I got you. You still care if yeah. you're bothering to mention that yeah. you're blocking yeah. or leaving. I trolled you. And you fed me. Mm-hmm. Well, Lady. well <laughs> I think we need to come back next week with, like, the results. I am on pins and needles waiting to hear the results of this election. Yeah. Like, our lives are in the balance right now. The whole thing. And uh, the primary elections, like, the real primary elections were about a month ago. And we didn't vote. <laughs> Are you talking about uh, America? Yes. Or California? California, Yolo <laughs> County. We... <laughs> That our our ballots sat in our living room for uh, weeks, and eventually time passed, and we were like, "Well, let's throw them away." But this is more fascinating, <laughs> more important. They always say that local is what matters. It is, and yes, we should have voted in our city and county. Yeah, but even more like even more local is our HOA. Yeah, right here. Yeah, where we live. Yeah, well, the uh, it it was the primaries. Uh, So it was like, okay, we'll wait till the real elections. But yeah, there's so much attention to Biden and Biden (laughs) and Biden and Biden and Biden and Gavin Newsom to a certain extent. But in the end, does that affect us? It does. Minor, minor, 1%, 4%. Yeah. Obviously, like politics at every level will affect you. But right. like day to day, what I care about is are our streets here in our condominium complex are they clean? Are yeah. they safe? Yeah. Are the trees getting cut down right outside our window? Because are they, honey? A little yeah, bit. That's your that's your department. I I will knock anyone out who cuts down my trees oh, right outside shit. my window. So yeah, I'm invested in like my immediate surroundings. Yeah. Because what? Because. We, this is where we live. This yeah. is where we spend every day. Yeah. This is where our kids go to school and walk home from school. So yeah. are we safe? Is it pretty? Is it is it pleasant? There was a paper towel uh, <laughs> in our little uh, inlet. There was a paper towel right outside of uh, the garage door when I was leaving to pick up the kids today. Yeah. Well, when I left, which is 7.15-ish. Okay. This morning. I, I saw it and I was like, okay. You that, saw it? Yeah. I didn't see it till this evening right. when I was going to get the kids. Right. So I saw it at 7.15 a.m. ish and I thought, okay, well, this is going to blow around because of the wind uh, and it's trash day. Um, but it was still here at uh, 5 p.m. ish. Yeah, I saw it at 3.45. I yeah. opened the garage door to leave to get the kids. And it was, it like blew in right inside my garage. So yeah. I literally like kicked it out yeah. with, my, I like shuffled it out until it was a few oh, feet Oh, really? Out. Yes. Oh, so you're part of the problem. <laughs> no, honey. It was like the paper bag in American Beauty. Uh, <laughs> but I came home at 5 p.m. ish and I, I, was, I saw it over yonder to the unit people who order McDonald's all the time. <laughs> yes. Uber Eats. Uh, but I saw it still and I was like, well, I, I saw it at 7 15 a.m. It's, 5 p.m. It's still out and about. It's still littering. Uh, so I took matters into my own hands and I literally grabbed, I grabbed my little claw, uh, 
hand mm-hmm. robot thing. What do you call it? Garbage picker upper. Garbage picker upper that I got from Dollar Tree when Dollar Tree was still a dollar before it was a dollar twenty five. And I grabbed that paper towel and I put it in our garbage can. Uh, maybe I should run, honey. I wish you would run. I wish you would run. Me, you, Mr. Shukis. Yeah. Oh, but oh, then. The, oh, the anti squad squad? Or would it be me, you, and Kathy Bailey? How could I choose between <sighs> Kathy Bailey and Shukis? Honey, maybe we could bring Shukis and Bailey together <sighs> and create a dynasty like uh, the Clintons, uh-huh. Hillary and Bill. Or the Bushes, 43 and 42? Or was it 44? No, Trump was 45. Uh, anyways. I, so uh, I, uh, what, what, I, what I wanted to say is that this whole HOA election voting thing, um, I, I hope there's slush funds. I hope there's wire taps. I hope there's earmarks, honey. Who Lobby- is Deep Throat? The Deep Throat of River. Yes. Lobbyists. Uh, maybe uh, Grift, like Tammany Hall, honey. I just, I, I hope there's more going on than just dealing with the radio <laughs> at, at the gym. By the way. When I said when I said to Kathy Bailey, "Hey, the radio in the gym is sometimes on, it's sometimes off, but even when it's sometimes on, it's super quiet. Like you turn it to ten, and it's still like I can't hear Katy Perry. You think I'm pretty without any makeup? But it's hard to hear Mix ninety six. Since that day, when I voiced my concern to Kathy Bailey, the radio has been super loud. Mix ninety six mm. has been Perfect. I only need to turn it to one. Yeah. One. And it, it's been fantastic. So KB. <sighs> Kathy Bailey is our queen. Yeah. But why is she aligned with Moto and Dairy Queen? We we don't know. We need to know. Yeah. How? <laughs> I'm so distraught over all this. Well, I think. In fighting. I'm hoping Moto and KB and Shukas. Kazis will come together and there will be friction, which is just, like I said, part of the process of democracy. Um, but in the end, they'll strive towards a better <laughs> river. It, at what point should you and I finally start attending the town hall meetings that our HOA puts on? They're really long, and they're at they're on Saturday mornings. They're always on Saturday mornings. Yeah. We always forget. We only yeah. remember when we're on our way out to go on some errands, and we drive by them, and they're congressed in the meeting area. Yeah, and we're like, "Oh, that was happening today." Yeah. So, it's not convenient for me. Okay. And it's the kind of thing where uh, the meeting is ten a.m. to eleven a.m. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Uh, but then people stay. Like people stay and they meander and they have they voice their concerns until like eleven forty five and it's like oh, I have more important things to do. I don't have more important. We're things going to, to Walmart, right? We're sweeping our front porch, right? We're cleaning up the paper towels in our inlet. <laughs> okay, it's just uh, it's a whole deal. Well, we we can only hope for the best. I say we break up the squad. We keep sixty seven percent of the squad. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. We will find out soon. <sighs> well, are we done, honey? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay. You want panda? I want panda or gravy. Or gravy. <laughs> Well, there's a giant jar of gravy at Walmart for about a buck. I want it now. Do you want your standard orange chicken? Chow mein. Do you just do the one item? I usually just get a bowl. Right. So one item. Yeah, but that's not... (laughs) Tonight I want it all. Oh, shoot. I want the cream cheese wontons. Yeah. And I want can, the egg rolls. I want everything. We, we can't short 
because last time we got Panda, <laughs> like Lennox and Luna came down and they had like, Luna had like one spring roll right. and Lennox had like one chicken egg roll. Yeah. So we got to go in. We got to do it for the children. We got to do it for the, for the kids. I'm out here taking care of my kids. Alrighty. Well, that's the end of the program. It's been fun, but not really. Let's all try a little harder next time. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, review, and rate, or don't, and share, or don't. Do whatever you want. You're a grown up. Make your own decisions. Do what's best for your family. And sure, I may have put into jeopardy future free corn on the cob from Kazi's Shukis, but I'm still a good person. And we're still good people. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful <laughs> day slash night. Oh, bye bye. Is that it? You were like on your last leg there. Are yeah. you okay? Losing yeah. steam. Let me go through my notes. Did you end it? Did you click? No. I'm still reading. <laughs> I want Panda Express. I'll pay for it. Is that part of your COVID? 1500 Which wasn't really 1500 We'll discuss what we actually got after you end this pod.